Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Clark Farm. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, um, it all helps. Also, drop any comments you have below about this video. We are looking at advice on the few new bits of kit we got. So that's what the video is going to be about. We've done a massive investment in our agri end of the hire um, for 2024. We focus, each year we focus on one area and this year it was the agri end so we've done a massive investment um a new plant for higher um so i'm just going to show you different clips all the different bits of stuff arriving um <clears throat> pros and cons and why we decided each machine yeah so i just like to note that everything is available for self-drive hire well not self-drive hire but you can hire it yourself use away at it Delivery available throughout Ireland. Um, long term hire rates, short term hire rates, all fairly keen. Um, price this machinery, it would not pay you to buy this plant. Um, so that's why we are investing heavily into hire. Um, yeah, so check it all out. So here is the first purchase of our big agri investment I suppose you call it um, of 2024 it's the first of the new batch machines coming um, it's the NC Super 3000 sorry pump this will be the second NC pump we have um, we always just used to have one but over the past couple of years getting busier and busier and uh, when you have a short window if it's wet you're renting you need an extra pump there so um, to tell you the truth, that machine didn't even make it back to the yard. She went straight out and higher before um, she even landed here. Um, so yeah, we bought that off Mead Farm Machinery as well. Um, so yeah, that's that's the first of it. I'll, I'll um, just gonna go show, through. I'm gonna go through and show you all as they arrive. Um, what all else we've bought. So stay tuned. This <laughs> so here's the second bit of kit to land of the yard. It's the new Smith Sales Filler. Um, 
She is fully spacked out, work lights, strobe lights on it. She is 18 ton. Um, big, big JT tires on her. Uh, she has the triple lights on her, two at the bottom, one at the top. Um, yes, it's strobe on her. We um, were able to spark her <coughs> whatever colour we wanted, so we went for red with the grey wheels. We've seen this earlier with that on it, so I thought it looked cool, so I just said we'll go for that. Um, yeah, all you do is tip her up a wee bit, tip up an inch, so and then the lights switch on, you walk like the front, and walk like the back. Grain <coughs> um, shoot on her, there's a front plate in the front of her to see inside the set as well. Um, Nice fella. All the best place. All the <coughs> has to wear. So, if anybody's looking to hire sales to her, come on ahead. Yeah, um, we'll have to get stuck in front of you next. Yeah, nice fella. She's not only a sailage filler, she's a grain filler as well. That's right, that's we can right. take the sailage sides off her. She'll that's suit right. any contractor or farmer. She lift back on the road, honey. <laughs> 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 and we also spacked her with the Change of a hitch is a full spring hitch there as well for her. Um, she's iron and hydraulic brakes in her. Um, yeah, I don't think that's actually tires. But yeah, look at her. She's beautiful. She does look well with the deer now, to be fair. Kills me to say it, but yeah, it does. Um, yeah, so that's the second bit of kit landed. We can stick it on now. Um, more to come. <laughs> Just want to show you the, the lights on her. They are cool. Are you see what the indicator's on? If Gavin can ever find the indicators. Cool and we need right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bow and Paddy has to try and show you something. I'm <laughs> sure. I'm sure. You never use any hitters before, Gavin? No. no I'm not <laughs> Yeah, so you bang the indicators on the side lace, repeat up, up the side as well. Um, but look at this here. That is cool. Like that, like that a lot. She will be well seen. She want to be. She want to be busy. Yeah, hopefully now she be flat out in this year. All the while. So yeah, once again, if anyone's looking to hire a sailor setup, either for a day, a week, or the full season, hit us up. We'll give you the prices and get this sorted out. Paddy land in this John Deere. Only 600 hours or cut and up, stealing all of them. What a smooth yoke today. She is a beauty, boy. Funky old gearbox all her too. Oh, yeah, this but yeah. Very good. He's only this. It was 55k or something. It's quick on the road anyway. The only thing the problem with this is it spoil you for driving your own tractor. We've stepped down now to the class. The smoothness of her or something like that. Yeah, she's a beauty, man. Lovely tractor. Paddy, that is some tractor, right? Isn't it? That is some tractor. Anyway, in the market for six hours. 185, only 600 hours now. Give me a ring. Don't ring Paddy, he's a Robin <laughs> <hour. laughs> Yeah, I've hit Paddy up if you're looking for one. That is some track there. Well spacked out too. And fancy gearbox on it too. Oh, cheers. Come on, bro, all the way. But... That is some job. Yeah, it's nice, boss. She'll, she'll be in Fadham someday. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, uh, we'll see. <laughs> Win this lotto. Nice, like. Smooth and all the right, I think, isn't it? It's very smooth. Yeah. Yeah, it's 
Very smooth, yeah. Good suspension on it. Yeah. All hydraulic. Good air seat and everything. She's been like sitting at home on the couch. I didn't even know you left. <laughs> yeah, that though you don't know couch to sit on, Paddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she'd make the money, boy. I'd have been the market for a ranger. investment we have is a new high spec 1600 gallon tanker with a high spec drill bar on it. Um, I'm not sure that's high spec's only drill bar, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but yeah this is the new bit of kit we have for hire. Um, as the video was shown last year we had an Abbey out on demo um, but we went for high spec because, to be honest, they're giving us a better deal, better spec machine. Um, Paddy also got a good deal with Paddy and, and made farm machinery for it. Um, yeah, all the work lights on it, uh, bigger tires, recessed tank, mud flaps on it. Like all of them were all sort of extras on the Abbey, what's left it a bit there. But um, yeah, we've never had a high spec tank before, so we'll see how she does. Hope she should do us a long time. Um, yeah, and the, the dribble bar seems to be a simple enough setup um, for people to use. Whenever she landed, she was actually set lower, so we raise her up there, just a bit more clearance on it. Um, but yeah, nice tanker. Hopefully she should do, do us a long time. Um, but yeah, anyways, we're just going to take her out here and spread with her own slurry and see how she performs. So, the final bit of this video, the final piece of machinery and plan is our new Marshall rear discharge dump spreader. Um, we done the deal with Campbell Agri machinery sales uh, for this. Um, we looked at a few different ones. This one here seemed to be the smallest and most compact. Um, big heavy duty ogres in the back of it. Uh, these just it, it just seemed to be everything was fairly well built. Even as far as as soon as you lift the tail door up, these here covers come around and block the light, hide the lights and all. Just it, it seemed to be very very well finished off. Um, greasing points all very easy accessible. There's only there's only uh, all greasing points are brought to the front and then there's two at the back through easy for changing gearbox oils there's no chains in the floor it's all just a push door and um, so the, the door at the front pushes right back and obviously that's what makes it spread this is the door here um, so it means that we can have we don't have the issue of chains and the sliders um, breaking we, we did look into this we were looking at a cross engineering one and um, we looked at it at the plowing last year good machine too seemed to be well built as well but from we didn't know much about them to be honest and we asked a few boys and all they said they were saying that the, the only real thing the issue they have is if the chains break on the floor um it's a hand and trying to empty them so this way here there's no chains on the floor it's just a push door to push it all out so 
I'm pretty sure it should be a fairly good purchase, I think. Um, yeah, Campbell Agri was very easy dealt with. Um, we sort of asked a few questions and stuff about it, and they came up, they gave us all the answers we needed for it. Um, explained it well why to buy this machine. Um, and dropped it up, delivered it and all, and yeah, I can't, can't, can't fault them. Um, so yeah, I just hope we get a couple more good dry windy days like this here so we can get this out to get it tested. Um, yeah, so I'd like to see how, how she performs in the field. But hopefully now she should do well. Um, I have to go and get the stickers on her now tomorrow. I have to go and get stickers on all the machines actually. Um, but yeah, so this is the, the fourth piece, piece of kit to land. And that's, that's all for our big investment for, for 2024 in the Agri End. Um, so hopefully all should go well and do well, please God. But anyway, that's all we have time for this week. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, drop any comments you have below. If you have any experience in this machinery, drop any comments, any pros and cons stuff you had. Um, or anything else that you think we should be investing in as a hire company. Um, we are always open to new suggestions. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah so don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Drop all the comments you have below. Check out our website for merch and uh, check out our new videos out every Sunday. And that is all from us. All the best now. Good luck. Adios. Good luck.